Hello, peoples. Hello, people. <laughs> I have a story about that. <laughs> Lauren's going, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell it. If anybody wants to hear it, I'm going to tell it. There's nobody here yet, though, so I don't know. We might not have that many people today because lots of people are filming and lots of people are videoing and lots of people are filming and just trying to keep everybody happy. <sighs> so... I'm just going to go. For, hi, Heidi Pope. Oh, hello. How are you today? Nice to see you. Your little dog's nose. That is so super cute. Uh, today we're going to do part two. and We're going to make the papers that are actually going to go into this art journal. We're going to make the, the signatures today. Not going to put them in. We're just going to make a few of them just so you guys can get going. Uh, how are you doing? I, I decided to take it live today. Uh, I'm going to go live on Wednesday, too, I think, right? Yes, I'm going live on Wednesday as well. So anyway, how you doing, Hottie Popo? Susan, right? Is it Susan? Hi, Linda. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How's things, ladies? How are you handling it? Are you, are you, are you still, are you bored? <laughs> or are you just, you know, I was talking to somebody earlier. Was I talking to somebody? Oh, my God. Yeah, I was chatting with somebody on a, a text, a friend of mine here in town, and she said it doesn't matter to her because this is what she does all the time. She's kind of an introvert and she doesn't go many places. So she says it's not bothering her that much. And it's really not bothering me too much. But, oh, OK, good. See, Heidi Popo, I remembered. But don't expect me to remember next week because <laughs> I won't. I don't know. I have the weirdest memory. It's like it's so bizarre. Oh, gosh. But how's everybody doing? How are you guys fending in this? Hi, Deborah Detter. Dieter Detter, how are you doing? Nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while with your little happy face. And what do you got there? You got a little, you can't see what your thing is, your icon. Linda has a little, like a poppy or a sunflower. That's really cute. And I love the dog's nose on Hottie Popo's um, icon. That's so cute. Is that a dog on yours, Deborah? I can't tell. I, I, I have the worst eyesight. <laughs> the worst eyesight. <sighs> yeah, nothing new, right? Isn't it funny how that is, Linda? It's really, for me, it's been nothing new either, except for the, the going to the store and stuff. You can't really go to the store much. A letter D. So I just wanted to... Um, show you guys how to do a template template today and how you how to do some of the signatures that are go oh where's my let me get my other books I can show you but the first one I did the first and only one I did where'd it go I hit it oh here it is let me turn my I imagine light <sighs> so there's the first and only one I have done of these so far and you can see that it's really not the best. I mean, this, this stick out way too far and it's just not done well, but that's, we're here to fix that now. Look at the signatures, kind of a mess. So we're, we're hoping that this second one, oh, well, Gracie's here. Hi, Gray. Let's get that out of the way so she can go wherever she wants. She started taking her medicine, you guys. She started taking, oh, there she goes. Look, Lauren's heading into the kitchen. So give her a treat, honey. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyhow, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, this is the first one I did, and hopefully, pull this up a little bit. Hopefully, yeah. Gracie comes and goes. I, oh, that's what I was saying. She takes her medicine, so we're making our signatures today. You can see they're really big, and you can see that there's uh, masking tape. Hi, Autumn. Nice to see you. And um, yeah, they're pretty big. And you can see that there's lots of masking tape and you can just, there's all kinds of ways to do them. Um, so there's a lot, you can, and you can add smaller pieces in smaller, um, um, piece, you know, pieces of paper in here. You can add bags or whatever. Remember, this is an art journal. This is for you to go in and paint up and, and art up. This one for me is going to be kind of hard to do. So you can see I use some masking tape here. I'm trying to find one where I actually use masking like a bunch of different pieces and put them together. But I got lazy in the end and only did like one piece on each. You'll see what I mean about that. Yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. 
But what you can do is like this one. Does this one have it? No. See, I got lazy in the end of this one because I was, oh, like, so this one, you can see that I've got one, two, three pieces that I stuck in here. So it doesn't have to be just one or two pieces of paper. You can stick more pieces of paper in here. And it actually adds more um, interest to your, to your signatures. And as we go, I'll show you what I mean by that. And then you can, you know, collage as you go. I mean, that's what I did. And I love adding these for interest. You can pop, you can, um, I'll show you something else that you can do that's kind of fun. Oh, let's see. You can punch some holes here and there and everywhere. Add some interest that way. Maybe not on that one, but maybe one of these. So you can get your paper punch out. Oh, you have to stand up if you're like me. Okay, and add some interest that way using a paper punch. That's kind of fun. Yeah, and this will end up in Fatty Patty. You know that, right? So yeah, so there's lots of ways to make interest in these um, in these um, calendars. So basically, you can use calendar pages now. You want to ensure that you do leave some sheets white, okay? Because this is your art journal. So get out scrap paper from um, your stash, some scrap paper, and get out some that has white on the back. Get out some mixed media paper, some calendar pages, uh, runoff pages, um, and um, book pages. Paper brown paper bags. Oh yeah, you can punch it. Go ahead and give it a punch or two here and there. That's kind of fun. Um, yeah. So just and oh, and painting papers obviously and jelly plates. So so what you're gonna need today is just different kind of paper, jelly plates. No, different kind of pa paper. The uh, masking tape, washi tape, bone folder, scissors. And, and you're gonna, we're gonna make a template, okay? So let's start with the template. Let's just dig right in. I'm just gonna assume that everybody that wants to know is here <laughs> and everybody that doesn't make it, oh, here's your gray. Let me move this for Gracie. Um, doesn't make it, can watch this later. So yeah, well, she, she's, oh, she jumped into the window. Good girl. What does she see up there? What do you see? She was so funny today. She stayed in bed and stayed in bed and stayed in bed and she wouldn't get up. So my bed is still not made because the last time I looked, she was still there. So, but she heard me come in here and, and um, now she's, she's uh, hanging out here, but my bed's going to go obviously unmade because it's already what, four o'clock here, almost, almost five o'clock here. So yeah. And we started giving her medicine this week. So she finally did start getting her meds, which is really great. And uh, we'll see how that works. It's medicine for her thyroid. I'm having some tea in this really cool handmade mug that I found at a thrift store months and months ago. It's signed on the bottom and everything, and it's just gorgeous. It's the kind you find like, like a craft fair for 20 bucks. And I probably didn't pay that for it, so... <laughs> It's so well made, it's very well made. And you guys know me, all of my stuff is, uh, all of my containers in my craft room are ceramics that I found at, uh, at pottery that I found at thrift stores. All right, so what I'm gonna do to, to, for my uh, template is I'm just gonna, I need two of these to make it big enough because one of them obviously won't be big enough. So I'm just gonna glue, tape two of these together real quick. So we have something to work with. Hi, Gray. You can come over. I'm not going to be, I'm not in any hurry, sweetie. I'm not in any hurry. No, you can hang out with me all you want. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. So in order to stick two pieces of paper easily, just grab a little piece of this. Oh, we're going in and out. I see that now. Let me fix that so I don't have a bunch of drama going on. Uh, which, where is it? I think it's this one. How you doing, Autumn? How's the weather over there? It was gorgeous today when I was walking. I mean, simply amazing. 
Um, it was so warm. I took off my coat. So nice. How's the weather at the beach? Is that better, guys? <coughs> oh, let me go get my phone so I can monitor if I'm I'm uh, actually filming or not. Gracie, will you hold down the fort for a second for me, honey? I'll be right back, guys. I got to grab my phone. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's right here. I always forget to do that. Okay, let's see my channel. Yep, looks like I'm live. Looks like there's no problemos yet. Hi, Tammy Wolf. Nice to see you. And anybody else I might have missed? I think I got everybody so far. We're not a lot yet. Or we probably won't be. There's so many people. Excuse my sniffles. There's so many people uh, filming right now. But that's awesome. So hopefully everybody's gotten something to do. <laughs> you should see Gracie. She's right there. Hi, guys. You can see me, too. <laughs> see Gracie. Gracie, what you doing? Look. Gracie, what you doing? Look. What? She's just right here. Hi, Francis. How you doing? All the way from Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I. <laughs> uh, hi, Scrap Chick. How you doing? Oh, see, she's such a good kitty. You're such a good girl. How you doing? How are you feeling? I just don't know when this medicine's going to kick in. I think I read it'll take a couple of weeks. You guys don't need to look down my blouse, right? Nothing there. <laughs> Nothing too interesting. Good. I'm glad, Scrap Chick. I'm gonna. I need to turn this over, but I don't want to bug her. Mm, you're so spoiled. Can you do me a favor and move over? Hmm. Think you can do that for me, Gray? Can you move over? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have this runny nose, and it's driving me nuts. Hi, Carmen. All right, you need to move over. We got work. She's just staring at me. She's like, why don't you go see Lauren? Here, scooch over. <coughs> go see Lauren. Just go see Lauren for a pinch. I'm just going to glue the tape this together so that we're making a little template here. So we'll know how big to cut our page. And we can keep this template <coughs> for the next time. Right, great. Right here, look at her, just watch. And she's just watching. This is what she does. She just watches, keeps her mom company. Right, Gracie? Yeah, she talks to me all day. She's a funny kitty. All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to start, I'm just gonna start with these. That on there, it's probably not that straight. And we're just, because we're, then we can fold it. This is not going to be our fold. So I just need it to be like so. And like so. Close enough. Right? Now I'm going to use my scissors only because she's sitting up here and I don't want to pull off my thing till, till I have to. My thing being my my puncher, my punch. So it's gonna cut real rough right now. Cut real rough. Okay. Okay, Gracie. Gotta go my puncher up here. You gonna be okay with that? Hmm? You gonna be okay with that? And she's seen this thing a few she's seen seen this thing a few times. She's seen this thing a few times. All right, let's see. What do we got? I shouldn't measure, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I probably should. Okay, let's just do this really quick. <clears throat> let's see if I'm lined up very well or not. But it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys know me. I'm like, yeah, see, it already isn't, so. That's okay. Close enough. Use your bone folder. 
Where's the bone folder? I got it. I got it. Don't let me, you know, don't let me get in your way, Gracie. <coughs> Sorry, goodness sakes, where's this coming from? I hope that doesn't happen the whole time. Mm. Let's see. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Mm, pardon my... There we go. That's good. Now I'll just come down like a little quarter of an inch, maybe not even. On this side. <clears throat> so I've seen a few of these on Facebook, you guys. Thank you so much for doing that. So we are at ten and a three quarter, nine and three quarters on this one, which is great. I think that's probably just about right. Let me make sure this is nice and straight. We can always go like so as well. So this is eight. So we probably want it like seven and three quarters. Let's make sure. Yeah, perfect. In my mind, that's perfect. Let's see. There we go. So that'll be just about right. I mean, and then if we have to trim them later, we will. But see, in my, I think that's just right. It could probably be a little smaller, but it's okay. Like I said, we can um, cut them later. No big deal. All right, so that is our template. That is our going to be our template. And we're going to say this is the top. Put an arrow up. And for grams, I just want to, these were what? Oh, I can't see this for anything. So, what is that? Eight by eight by tens. I'm gonna write what they're for on here. Eight by ten canvas. Okay, just so we know what that was for. So, what's everybody doing? Have you been out walking? Are you trying to like walk and stay healthy and do good? So what I'm going to start to do now is I'm going to grab uh, um, some scrapbook paper that I don't love because you know you're going to paint over the top of it and you want to have some with some white backing. So let's look at some and you want some thicker, some thicker. So you're making it thicker by adding to the back too. So I'll tell you what I mean in a minute. Let's see. Let's see. That's too thin. So you want your thicker. Like this is pretty thick stock paper right here. It's not that I don't love it, but it's pretty thick and I like that. This is actually really pretty. Messing up your craft room, hottie? Me too. Oh, okay. So let me tell you. So your signatures, you want four signatures. Is that right? With five? Uh, yeah. Four signatures with five pieces of paper. So you're going to have 20 pages, 20 page, paper, 20 pages. So we'll start with this one. There she goes. I was kind of hoping she'd go, but I never want her to go, but I kind of hope she does so that I can actually. You need help? Tracy? Okay. She's got it. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Let's use this one. It's kind of a dark one. And let's see what else we got here. This one. Make a nice background. This one's got some shiny on it. That'll be cool. Oh, that's pretty. Not that I'm looking for shiny or anything. I'm just, or pretty. I'm actually just, I really want something that I don't love because, um, Because we'll just start with those. Um, because if you're going to paint over it, remember? Yeah. Hi, Janice. How you doing? Thanks for coming in and hanging out with us today. We're not in a hurry. We're just hanging out. What are these? 
Oh, this is good. This is like Valentine. I wonder if there's any. I kind of need some light. Ugh, these are bright. Mm. Oh, geez, I'm not a big heart person. Because remember, you're going to be painting over it and arting over it. Is this a hard one? Oh, good. I'm just going to do a few pages today, show you how to do it. Turn you loose. <laughs> Turn you loose. I want to grab some mixed media paper, which is white, because this is good to use. I actually am going to leave this on here because I like it to add texture. Grab a couple. Hi, Sherry. How you doing? Are you feeling? Hi, Lana. How you doing? Hi, Mary. I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I'm just hanging out, you know, trying to, um, you know, just hang in there like everybody else, right? So, yeah. Okay. So, this is your template. And... What you're going to do is you're going to just go ahead. I mean, you don't need a template. You can always just, you know, do, you know, eight by 10, you know, to cut it by 10. Hi, Robin. How are you? But I'm just going to use the template thing because that's how they taught me in class. Um, i sure there's an easier way, but there's a little pencil. Actually, yeah, I guess I'm going to do it this way because once you start cutting, you'll have the extra pieces to tape onto here. And I'll just probably cut this. You And you, when you're doing these, yeah, you guys are having it. There's a lot of YouTubers out there. When you're doing these, you when you're taping, you don't want this, the part that you tape together to be on your spine. So that's just a good thing to remember. To always remember that you don't want your tape, like you don't want to fold this in half and, um, or, or fold it in half wherever you've taped something on. You could fold this in half and then add something to it. That would be fine. So, yeah. But So basically, you're just building pages right now. And uh, if you want to use deli sheets, Uh, you you definitely want to put your de you don't want your deli sheets to be its own page. You want your deli sheet to be a, like you're gonna. That's why we have some ugly pages because we can put some deli sheet on that. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and put that here. Maybe. I wonder if I can just go ahead and cut that. I think it would be a lot easier if I did. Don't you? I do. Let's see if I can't get that in there though, unless I fold it. I don't want to really want to fold it. So no, you have to cut it. You have to cut it. I think that's what she said. <coughs> Why do I have such a dry throat? <coughs> that's kind of scary. I think it's this candle. Let me move the candle over here. There we go. Just for a minute, just to help out. Although I love my candles. I'm going to be making candles uh, next week. I'm going to be making some soy candles. So if you guys want to hang out, make some soy candles with me, that might be kind of fun. I don't know if I'm going to do it online or not, to be quite honest, though. I don't know. Well, I'm trying to stay in. Yes, there's a million people. There is a gazillion people out. Uh, <coughs> crap. Uh, doing this right now. I'm going to go over a little bit, you guys. Oh, I wanted to leave that on. Oh, I could still use that. What am I doing? I'm saying, doing this all wrong. Sorry. Do as I do, not as I say, you guys. Do as I do, not as I say. Okay, so now I'm just going to need a little strip here on there. 
So this is where the the uh, tape comes in handy. So yeah, I'll turn this around this way. Actually, it doesn't matter which way you do it. So let's just tape these together. Then I think the template will come in more handy. Later. Wrong piece. Wrong piece. Okay. And how you do this is you just want to do what I did with the other one. You want to take a little bit of this. You can't overlap it. I mean, you could, because that's the question I said. So why don't you just overlap it and use like a um, washi tape? And she said, because it's that's not what you want to do. She said, because you want to make sure that um, that uh, that it's not too big. It's not, you know what I mean? Fat. Hi, Robin. Yeah, this will be cool if I can figure it out. I haven't found my groove yet. I probably should have done a couple before I came online, but oh well, too bad, so sad. We're going to do this together. <laughs> We're going to do this together. That's how I roll. Yeah, that's how I roll. So that's it. That's what, that's what you get when you get with me. You get a whole lot of mistakes and... That's okay. So we're going to go ahead and cut this so that I can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut roughly really quick. Because what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to. I want to tape this on here. but You love to watch my mistakes. That's okay. Das ist gut. Perfect. That's what I'm looking for right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my cutter for this. It's, it's such an odd, it's such an odd uh, technique. I don't know. It's really weird, but I was doing as I was taught. Okay, so now we can fold it and find our center, but I, I can put my tape on there now. Hey, Miss Helper. How you doing? Everybody good? You can use washi tape on this. Like I did some of mine, I used some washi tape, but I'm going to go ahead and use masking tape mostly right now just to show you because it comes up easier. And with the washi tape, I suggest you put down some uh, glue stick and then use your washi tape because washi tape is not is not uh, tape for, you know, anything. Um, it's not a tape for making things stick. It's just not how it rolls. And if you make a, a little wrinkle, it's okay because, again, it's just texture. So there you go. So don't worry about it. So there, there's that. So good. One little page, and it's not very pretty, but that's okay because um, I want some white pages in here too, you know? And then we'll make sure that I've got it. But you see how I did not want this right here to be the, uh, can I cut this thing that keeps coming up? Close. I don't want this to be the seam. I want where, where there's not a taped thing to be the seam. That's kind of key. Mm, yeah. So where's my template? Right here. Let me see if it's good. And it's good. Looks good to me. Because then, you know. And then like with anything, once you start putting them together, they'll grow, but you'll trim that later. Hey, JL, are you Janice? Yeah, I'm staying safe and I'm inside and I'm not doing anything too much. Um, one of my neighbors today... Uh, well, actually, not a neighbor, but a friend that lives in the neighborhood was um, told me that she went and picked up some mulch, which they call that bark dust here in Oregon. <laughs> so she went and picked up some mulch and um, now I want to make one that has like, I'll show you what I mean. Like, cut this one up a little bit. She went and picked up some bark dust and stuff, and I was kind of jealous because, well, I need new bark dust too. I guess it's that time of year where you, I'm gonna just make it like so. 
So yeah, I was like, oh, I got some bark dust. Okay, well that I cut that kind of weird. No, that's okay. So we're gonna have to use it this way, which is fine. Okay. Okay, now I wanna add maybe doesn't matter. This one on this side, like so. So, I mean, I wish I could go do that. They have a truck and they can go pick it up and her husband helps her put it out. And I'm thinking, I don't even own a rake. I don't have a rake. I don't have a shovel. I don't have a wheelbarrow. I mean, like, so how am I going to do that? So I need to go find a rake, a wheelbarrow, a shovel. And then I need to find somehow, try to figure out how I'm going to get it here. <laughs> I was thinking, how am I going to, I'm going mean, to have to have it delivered and dumped somewhere. And then I'm thinking, well, how am I going to get it into my backyard or over to the area that it needs? I am not an outdoorsy, but like yard girl. So uh, how am I going to do this? I know I sound like an, an ignoramus, but I mean, I haven't had to do that stuff in a while, but I do have gardeners. So I could have my gardener and talk to my gardener if they come tomorrow and ask if that's something they can like help me with, you know, because if they can, well, I'll just, I'll buy it and try to get it here. And then they can do the, you know, do the work, right? I don't mind doing it though. I'm, honestly, I honestly would not mind doing it at all. So, I don't know. Do anybody else call it bark dust or, is, or are we the only ones that call it bark dust? Because when I went to, I remember when I went to California and I was saying, um, oh, that would look really nice with bark dust. And everybody's like, what? And I go, you know, bark dust. And they're like, what? And I go, you know, tree bark. <laughs> they go, oh, you mean like mulch? And I'm like, well, if that's what you want to call it. But where I come from, it's always been called bark dust. <laughs> so, kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird. Call it mulch. We always called it bark dust. Because it's bark and it's dust. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I honestly don't know. So we're going to go ahead and fold this. You can see I'm not trying to fold it on the tape. I don't want the tape to be the, uh, the thing. We want the paper to be the signature. Okay. And again, I'm not putting on as many pieces as I can, but I'm going to show you now. I'm going to work with some of the uh, deli paper. So nine and nine and three quarters, which is right. So it should be okay. It's a pretty piece of paper, isn't it? Really? It smells like trees here. It smells like it smells like the forest. I really like it. I really like how it smells here. It's really funny. Um, driving down the street here, you see um, big log truck, logger trucks, and all kinds of stuff. And when I first got here, I'm like, things you never you never see in L.A. You know, isn't that funny? Things you never see in L.A. And log trucks would be some of those things. We have two signatures. And I want to do something a little different right now. I'm going to use some of this right here. And I want to show you because if you want to add your actually I'm going to use this. If you want to add deli plate deli sheets or even like this kind of stuff, you really can't unless you put it on um well, you could use this. It would be okay, but it's not going to be that strong. But let me just stick to, let's try this, like this belly sheet right here. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put it down on here, this side. I can't tell which side is the good side. This side. I'm just going to glue it on here. Hi, 
Hey, Cindy, how are you? Hi, your little red wagon. How are you? I don't see anybody else new, but nice to see you. Rain girl is Cindy. And how you doing, Cindy? How's your dad? How's everything going? Lots going on in the world right now. But hopefully it's just a basic reset and we'll all be good. You know, I don't know. Don't ask me. Virtual hugs to you, too. Virtual hugs to everybody. Did I tell you um, about a couple of weeks ago when I was at work, which I haven't been working and I'm not going to be for a while. But a few weeks ago while I was at work, or a few weeks ago when I, when I was at work, this lady was chatting with me. She was the cutest lady. And she said, I'm trying to find the shiny guy. There it is. And she said to me, you're so nice. She said, would you like to be friends? And she's probably 70 something, 75 or something. 90. Are you guys isolating rain? So I said, well, sure. I'll be your friend. And so we exchanged phone numbers and I haven't heard from her, but I remembered her name. Her name was Pat and or is Pat. And today when I was out on my walk, cause, and she says, well, she says, where do you live? And I told her where I live. And she goes, oh, I live over there. Do you know where this street is? And I said, no. And she says, well, we'll get together. We'll have lunch or something. And that was like right, right before this coronavirus thing. Right, guys? Just like right before this coronavirus thing. And so I said, yeah, sure. I can have lunch or something sometime. Well, anyway, today when I was out on my walk, guess who I saw? She was outside in her yard. And uh, I said, hey, remember me? And she looked at me. And she goes, oh, I can't really see. Because it was like um, very... Uh, I'm going to put some more yellow paper down there. It was very, like, light out. Anyway, and she, or, you know, sunny. And she says, oh, oh, I remember you now. So, anyway, so that was so funny. But why did I bring her up? I don't know why I brought her up. Hmm. See, I have mine like a sieve. Just... Oh, good. Good, you guys. Yeah, I just, it's really rough out right now trying to, um, oh, good, Gracie's over there in her little chair. It's really tough out right now trying to stay connected with your friends and your family, you know. I haven't seen any of my brothers and sisters since Christmas, but that's because we, you know, live a couple hours apart. Um, I'm trying to keep my kid in the house. If she doesn't come in, when she does come in and if she doesn't go straight to her shower, which she needs to do, she, she promised me she will, but I give her uh, gloves to wear and then while she's in the kitchen, especially. And then I try to go in and, um, you know, wipe down because I still have some Clorox wipes. I don't know how or how I got them still, but I do. I haven't used them all. I've been cutting mine in half. I'm kind of trying to be careful. <laughs> I'm just trying to be careful with this, the Clorox wipes, you know. And I mean, that's all I really need to wipe down the, the, the knob and the, the refrigerator, you know, and stuff like that. I try not to, you know, use a whole wipe and then just toss it for that, you know, that one thing. And then I, and then I Lysol. Okay, so we're going to make one out of this, I think. So see, this is how you'll incorporate some of your deli sheets and your uh, other stuff in here. And on this one, I'm thinking... I kind of want to show you how to do, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be the one, let's see. Okay. I, you know, I was thinking the, the same thing, Deborah. The world has never been so clean, right? The pollution is down, you guys. Pollution is down. Is that not exciting? And I'm also thinking crime has got to be down because I haven't heard about looting or anything, but knock wood, you know, I haven't heard about any of that. So pollution isn't, I'm going to cut this about right. Cause I want to show you guys how to do a, actually I'm going to cut this really small. Here. I want to do like a, like, I'll show you. There we go. So I'm going to put this on this side because I want to show you guys how to do more than just two pieces. You know? All right, so, so we're going to get this out here. Yeah, so the world has never been so clean. <laughs> Pollution is down. I think crime might be down. 
<laughs> have you seen what they're doing in Italy? It's so cool. They're all like singing and doing aerobics and everybody's just, I'm just going to do this roughly you guys. Yeah. Hot and reuse. There was a lady online showing you how to make um, wipes out of paper towels, but I just don't have um, alcohol. I thought I did. I have the aloe vera gel, but I don't have any alcohol. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out and get any either. So I don't know. Anyhow, I'm going to cut this in half. I don't really like that bicycle, but I just want this to be here, I think. I think I did that right. I think I might have just screwed that up. No, I didn't. I didn't screw it up. Everybody, she didn't screw it up. So close. Well, it might be a little short, but I don't care. So I'm just using this for that, so. No, it's fine. Let's glue that. Let's tape that really quick. I know. I actually ordered some uh, hand sanitizer, but I don't get it until uh, April. <laughs> April, like, could be as late as April 23rd. I don't mind. I mean, I just, you know, I want it. I just want, that's one thing I have to have. I've always had hand sanitizer in my car because after I go to the thrift store, I always use hand sanitizer, like always. And so does my kid. And so I was like freaked out because, well, this is not the time to go into the thrift store anyway, guys, because you just never know where you're getting your stuff from. But because the last things I bought from the, from the thrift stores were Rosie and Rosa and Anique. If you guys saw my last thrift haul, that was my last thrift haul. So yeah, Rosie and Anique. Let me put this. Okay. So I'm going to cut this here, and we're going to cut it here. Here first. Oh, good. You can actually see what I'm doing. Yay me. I'm going to go a little bigger. And we'll tape this on here. First, let's tape. No, let's tape this one. We're going to go this way. So see, not the prettiest page in the world, but let's see how it looks. That might actually look better. What's going on over here? But see, too much same, same. Oh, that's okay. We'll do it this way. I like it this way. So we're going to go ahead and tape these down. I know. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go to a thrift store right now, guys, because... That stuff, you don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'd be kind of leery. But I definitely, when, when you can go again, although I'm not saying I'm not tempted because it's still open. I do have some stuff I'd like to drop off, but I just, that's a scary place to go right now to the thrift store, personally, I think. I mean, it's from another person's home that, you know, I don't know. I might be, I might be, I might be overthinking this thing. What do you think? Am I overthinking it? Yeah. Yeah. Saving a lot of money this time. Saving a lot of money this time right now. That's for sure. That's poor shizzle. Now, you guys, bear in mind if you're making this with me... But this is a homemade little art journal. It's a lot of fun. It's super cool. The, the signatures are sewn in, but it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, I think so too, Hottie. Susan. Better safe than sorry, for sure. It's just scary. I don't know. I think we're I think we're all doing really well though. I think everybody's just doing really well. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to fold this little guy in half and see what's going on. That's kind of satisfying once you get it together, you guys. Once you get it all 
Well, now see this one basically is you have different designs on the pages. And we're, I want to incorporate some more of this now in, into it because it's more interesting. But see, it comes together. And remember, you're not trying to make a beautiful page while you're going. And so see, later I'll probably trim this anyway. But you're just, um, hi, Deanna, how you doing? Please say hello to Kate for me when you see her. My ladies up in and Glennis and everyone else up in Washington. We are making signatures for our journals today that were this is part two and i decided to go live with it so these are going to be our signatures oh which reminds me on your to-do list what you guys need is you're going to need some chipboard and i just found a really nice thick chipboard on the back of a um notepad so this is a pretty nice chipboard so look for a piece of chipboard you're only going to need like an inch like an inch well, whatever length your book is, obviously, and like an inch strip, okay? So put that on your, your uh, to-do book. Oh, yeah, Deb, that's a toughie, isn't it? When they start shutting down. I know, I've really had to reel in everything. Like my little, my little Joann's, that was my funny money. So, and... Uh, I mean, that sounded really weird just now. I didn't mean to say that. But what I'm saying is, is we all have to, you know, like button it up. Um, because I didn't realize how much Joanne's funny money, whatever that is, actually helped me with groceries and stuff, you know? So, you know, even with a little bit of an income, I have to reel it in too. I guess that's what I was trying to say without sounding like a complete idiot just now. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? It's I don't know how people are doing it. I just don't know, you know, um, supposedly there's going to be some relief coming out soon, but I don't know what that's all about either. So, okay. I want to do some with some painting papers now, some painting paper. And again, I think you kind of want to, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and just use a painting paper. You know, this can go in there, um, but I'm going to put it on a thicker page, you know, with a thick page like this, so that the, um, or actually, this one's good, so that the, the spine of the of it will be strong. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I probably don't even know what I'm trying to say, guys. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. No, no, you don't need to manufacture paint right now. I don't know. I don't know. My girlfriend's actually, I, one of my friends here in town said she's, um, she was outside touching up her paint today on her house for a, for a, uh, refi. So. Did you guys hear the thing where, um, I'm not going to do it obviously cause I'm getting ready to refi too. But there's a thing right now, and I don't know if it's for rent or mortgage or both, and I don't exactly. So just and take this with a grain of salt, you guys. I, one person said they, one person told me that they did it, and another person told me that they heard about it. And I thought, boy, that's kind of that's a good thing if you you know are really if you're really under the gun right now. And uh, Deb, listen um, and check it out. I don't know for sure, but listen and and go try to find out. There's a thing right now because of this whole situation where mortgage companies are letting people not pay their mortgage for 33 months. For three months, no penalty. It doesn't affect your credit and it doesn't incur interest. Uh, that's what I've heard. So I know somebody who actually did it and they're really happy. Um, here comes Gracie again. Oh, guys, yeah. Notice how my throat isn't bad since... I moved the candle and notice how I haven't been paying attention, whether it's the top or bottom. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter till you sew them in. Then it matters. But anyway, so check that out. See if there's anything, any kind of relief in there for you. You know, um, like I said, I don't know. I'm not in the finance, financial world. 
or nor have I done it. But Deb, check it out. Um, yeah, because first of all, a very close person that I know did it. And actually, and another girlfriend said she's heard about it. And so she might, you know, go do it. So and is there one other person? I don't know. But my one really close person for sure did it. And one friend knows about it. So, but if you're going to refire something, you might not want to do it right now. If you're planning on refining anyway, like I am. So I'm going to refi here pretty soon because I think I can get a really much better rate than what I got. But you're welcome. And again, you guys, please don't be mad if it's not something you're interested in or if, or if, if, you know, if it's not for real, because like I said, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But if you're going to be with that and my friend who did it or the person that did it said when he called his mortgage company, he just said, Hey, listen, this Corona thing's got me kind of, cause he's got a lot of people working for him, blah, blah, blah. And he, so he said that they said without, without any questions asked, he said, um, they said, we'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. And like hardly any paperwork. So again, I honestly don't know. So, but worth looking into. If you ask me, definitely worth looking into. I'm going the wrong way. I want this side to be. Okay, so what happened here? I wanted this to be. Uh-oh, I did this wrong. I see, see what I, okay, what I did just wrong just now is I don't want this to be the signature side. I wanted this to be the signature side, so I cut the wrong side off. So I can't have that. So scratch that. Let's try that again. Let's just do it with it. Yeah, we can't do that because it would have definitely, it would have definitely um, not worked. And I want some of this in here now. So I'm going to try to leave that on there. Let's try that again. I got distracted. <laughs> so. To you, honey, Popo, good for you. Oh my gosh, you guys, have you seen all the people on Facebook right now? That there's one lady I saw her last night. She was um, yelling at this lady. God, the people, the way people behave. I'm telling you, the way people behave. Um, but she was yelling at this lady who was um, loading up a bunch of stuff in her truck. She was like, "Look at this woman! All these things, blah blah blah." And I kept thinking to myself, maybe she's buying it for a retirement home. Maybe she's buying it for something you know you never know but i mean this lady was in this lady's face you know she was not gonna cut her any slack at all uh <laughs> yeah none like zip zilch zero okay i see what i'm doing wrong here i need to move this over like so yeah yeah you see how this can be kind of hard But first off, if I saw somebody doing it, I wouldn't say a word to them because I don't want I don't want any drama, you know. I just would like just go about my business and, and actually I would leave really quick because I would I would know in my my common sense would tell me that someone's gonna yell at this lady and it might get ugly and I don't want to be here, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, the whole toilet paper thing is kind of scary. Kind of freaky, not going to lie. Again, I'm just going to rough cut this so that my chomper can do a better job. I know, right, Cindy? It's crazy. It's just insane. Oh, but um, I will tell you one thing, though. From now on, I don't think I'm going to let my rolls get less than, I mean, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? 
I don't want to, I don't want to be out of toilet paper. So I don't want to let my rolls get low. Probably like, well, it depends on what kind you buy. I buy Scott because Scott, Scott brand, you know, it's not the soft and cushiest in the world, but you never run out of it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, oh my God, Heidi, that's hilarious. <laughs> So she said somebody had a bunch of uh, decorative napkins that they use in their art, and they were just about ready to start using them. Oh my word! Yeah, that would that would bring a fight fight into the house, right? But yeah, I don't want to run out of paper towel, and I don't or anything. I don't want to run out of uh, Clorox wipes anymore either. So I'm just not going to start hoarding, but I'm going to make sure that I never. You know, it's like your gas tank. You don't want to go. You don't want to go. They say less than a half. Look what I went and did. See, you guys don't do as I look at. It. I'm leaving these lines on here. Thank God it's going to get painted over. And it's just texture, right? <laughs> Stupid. I'm going to stick this on here just to hide that one because I just because I feel like it. But yeah, you just don't want to run out. Right. That's true. Little red, little red wagon. That's a good point. You know, that's a very good point. You don't want to have to keep this. The woman that I was talking about on Facebook, though, she went into the store. I think it was a Dollar Tree. It's on Facebook right now. And they pulled up their truck and they bought every tissue, every paper towel, every paper product that 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 store had. This woman bought the whole store out. And the woman with, who was um, shaming her, it was kind of it was kind of ridiculous. Um was just letting everybody know. Hi, Mitzi. How you doing? How you do? How you doing? Is everybody good? Everybody's good. We are making signatures today for our books, and as you can see, they're just—it's just kind of a fun thing to do. And then the next time we get together, we will be. Um, we will be. You know what I'm going to do to this? I'm going to first off make sure everything's okay. Yeah, looks like it's good. Have a sip of tea. Where's my bone folder? You really should be going over your uh, masking tape with your bone folder, which I haven't been doing, just to burnish it down real good. But that's me. I never do anything the way I'm supposed to. Yeah, that's true. There's been some greedy people, but I wouldn't want to have to go to the store every five minutes either. And let's look at it this way, um, Cindy. I've been thinking about those poor people out there that have Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Hi, Rabbit. Well, hello and welcome in, Rabbit Trail Studio. Do you have a, um, a, a YouTube channel? It sounds cute. That would be a cute name if you did. Um, so, like, if I was thinking... The other thing I was thinking, you guys, is, oh, my God, right now, listen to this. If I was living in L.A. right now in my little 920-square-foot condo where I had one bathroom, right, and let's just say that bathroom got stopped up, who's, number one, going to come over and fix it? And number two, what would, ha I mean, talk, I mean, I would have been, if I was there right now, I would have been in so much stress right now. Just thinking about that would have probably sent me over the edge and put me into a flare. Because as you guys know... I have ulcerative colitis, but um, knock wood, I am, close window, I am, um, yeah, I. you're right, Cindy, not take, 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 but I would, if I was living there right now, just the thought of my one bathroom and overflowing and not being able to get somebody in to fix it, or the thought of running out of toilet paper, I would die. I would die. I'm not going to lie. I would die. That is a Crohn's, that is a person with a bowel disease, <laughs> you know, worst nightmare, right? So, yeah. so if you have other stamps and stuff, you can put little holes in it. That's kind of cute. What, you know, this is like, this is our, this is how we talk here. We talk about the pooping disease and everything else. Yeah, this is too big. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I don't want to cut this side off though. So what did I say? This? I said it was nine and three quarters, right? There and abouts. Yeah. That's good. 
<laughs> it really could, right? Oh, look at that. I almost cut it off. That would have been that would have been made me sad. But I would have been par for my course. There we go. My chomper. I need a new chomper. But I love this chomper. I love the chomper kind. Oh, that's too small. Oh well. That's gonna be what it is, guys. It'll be one of the shorter ones. Like I said, you can add smaller um. What is with this page? Where's my template? Let's see what we did wrong here. Well, what, what was I thinking, you guys? What in the heck was I thinking? We're going to lose my stamp. So what did I say? I like it, too. I love that stamp punch. It's just kind of hard. So seven and three quarters. We're going to lose it, though, you guys. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. If we lose it, we lose it. I'm not going to cry over it. There. We didn't, but it's barely there. Barely. Barely there. It's probably gonna, so what we'll probably end up doing with this one is putting something behind it and gluing it. Eventually on an art page. No. I need to do that. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I do it right. Oh, you guys, this might, if it's, if it sounds terrible, if it freaks you out, let me know. I think I've got some foil in here just for that, and I never did. I don't know if I have it or not. I do. Somebody gave me some heavy duty. So what do I do, rabbit? Do I just stick it in here and go like this and cut it? I'm not going to do it until you tell me, because I really need to, I really need to do it, rabbit. So is that what I do? I have never, ever, ever done it. So I'm just going to do it. Is that what you do? Just like this? And that makes it sharp? Do I have to make it thicker or anything? Or just can I just keep going? It's like two-ply. I'm going to kind of come down lower, too, because... Just like that? Oh, okay. So you guys give me a minute while I do this a little bit. How much do I have to do? Because I've never done it. And I've been meaning to do it. I love this. I got this at a thrift store for like eight, not eight or nine dollars. Like a few years ago. And remember, you guys remember when I got it? Those of you that have been watching me a while, and I love this thing. I was like, oh, I have to have that. Is that enough? Probably oh, wouldn't hurt if I. Ooh, it feels sharp. Of course, I've never felt it before. Because it's difficult. Okay. I feel like I want to do this. <laughs> All right, I'll try it now. Let's do like this one. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> that works, you guys. That works. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Don't touch it with your fingers. Okay. 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 And I've got a little lock right here, too. It's got a little lock right there. So I lock it, too. I love this. I love this. It's an old Office Max. It's pretty cool. All right, let's make some more pages. I won't touch it with my fingers, I promise. I promise. Okay, so this was a sad, these were sad. Let's make a few more. Let's do something. I'm trying to figure out if I can do something really fun with these, but got some more jelly plates on there. You guys can add anything you want to these, but. I oh, just a jelly plate. Here's some jelly plates I made the other day. Here's when I did my jelly plate the other day, it turned out really terrible. So I ended up doing painting papers and I made these two painting papers and I love them. But I'm not going to use them for this project because I love them. But I am going to use these. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Let's use those. 
because I just love these. See, I do more than chase carrot. <laughs> Rabbit, you're hilarious. Thank you for reminding me. But this turned out really good, in my opinion. I love this one, and I like this, but not as much as this one. I started out jelly plating the other day, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I had the worst jelly plate day in the world. Nothing turned out. Like, nothing. That's that. The, this is how my jelly plates turned out. Not so good. So, um, I ended up just pulling out my stencils and using a, a um, paint, paint with a sponge, and I really got into it. So if you watched the jelly plate one the other day, forgive me because it was really awful. <laughs> but these turned out fun. All right. Let's use this. Let's use this. And we'll put some jelly plates on the back of it. Maybe I can just, you know, in, that's what I'll do. Ah, I got an idea. What we're going to do is we're going to reinforce the spine with this. Let's do that really quick. And I'm just going to leave this on here because I like it. This right here. It's going to be the spine. I'm just going to stick that. We're going to tape that spine on here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and go across it. I don't care. We're adding, we're adding texture. <laughs> that's my story. And that's, that's what I'm saying. And I'm sticking to it. Probably should have glued that down, but I don't care. I guess I still could a little bit. Yeah, we can. I'm winging it, you guys. I'm winging it for these pages today. I don't ever do anything that takes me a million years. I'm really just, I just kind of probably a little too fast sometimes, probably to be a little bit more careful. So I'm probably not the greatest teacher in the world, but hopefully, and here's what I've noticed. I might not be the greatest teacher in the world, but if I give you an idea or share an idea that I've learned with you guys and I see what you guys do on um, Facebook with it. Oh my God. I have so much so much um, fun watching what you guys do and how, how well you do it, you know, so much fun. Like some people shared me, shared with me their, um, their covers that they've done already. Oh my God, you guys, some of the best covers on the Facebook group. So thank you for sharing by the way, because it definitely inspires me, you know, to, um, yeah, it just definitely inspires me. Let's do this. Make sure that's in the middle. Yeah. You guys inspire me more than you know. Like a lot. A lot, a lot. So this is how you're just going to build your pages, you know. If there's an easier way to do this, I'm sure there is, but well, this is just how I'm doing it. So this is just how I was doing it. I'm gonna cut this down. So there's gonna be a couple pages in here that are um, flimsy. And you know, that's why I said you wanna use a thicker scrap, scrap paper because you don't want them too flimsy because you are gonna art journal on them. <laughs> Okay, I know that's a little quick back there, but that's okay. Wow, just a little bit of foil, you guys. That's crazy. God, I've wasted a lot of time being frustrated. Look at that. I'm so happy right now. 
mine and three quarters. I am so happy right now. No, it's not going to be like a fatty patty. Fatty patty is kind of a like a smash glue book, if you will. This is going to be more like a, an art journal where like art pages. Let me show you. Let me show you. First off, it's going to, here's the one I first did. I'll show you that, but let me show you like an art journal that I've been working in. Not, not recently, but mm. oh, this isn't really a good one. I'll show you that. Uh, I don't like any of my art pages right now. Like my, hmm, let me see. I do art pages in my fatty patty, but maybe like art pages like this one, like that's an art page. Uh, I don't really have a lot in here. Like these are art pages. I hate them. I don't mind this one. My art, my, my, what I've been working on has changed so much. Like I love this one, but you see me do these kind of art pages in fatty patty, but it's not like junky. You know what I mean? Um, that's an art page. I don't love it. But that's an art page. I don't love it. It's really funny. I don't like any of the stuff that I've ever done. <laughs> Isn't that funny? What do you mean, Deborah? You've missed all of this. You were here at the beginning. And even if they dropped your, what, I don't understand. Yes, just art pages, just like art journaling pages. So yeah, so like, you know, you put something on here, make an art page with paint and what back a background or whatever, and then add some words. You know, just a really large ATC. <laughs> That's how I look at them. Just a really large ATC, in my opinion. So these are kind of flimsy and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe you can add a little bit. So when you're actually, I'm not gonna add anything to it because it is gonna be an art page and I can do it do whatever I want. Um, oh, thanks rabbit. I don't like that art journal. I don't, I do love art journaling, but I don't do it as much as I'd like to. So let's see. I'm just going to keep making a bunch of these, you guys right now, just because I need, I need, uh, 20 of them, I think, right? One, two, three, four, Five. We've only got five, so I need quite a few more. So I'm just going to do a few more. And again, in your own art journal, when you're making your pages, you can just take something like this and use it. And you, I wouldn't count it, but you don't want it to get too thick because remember, you're going to be sewing four of these, four of these signatures together. So, so let's just make a few more, shall we? Why not? I'm just hanging out. I'd like to get them made. I'm going to do another live on Wednesday. Wednesday is my regular live day. So I will be doing another live on Wednesday. Just because I love this so much, I'm going to add it here. This one here. Just making some pages. Hi, Desert Nana. My YouTube is having trouble. Oh, oh, I see. That's weird. But my YouTube's okay right now, you guys. Everything's cool. Thumbs up if everything's cool right now. Yeah, I haven't been seeing a lot of people's too till it's like too late. You know. Thanks, Deborah. I needed that. Just make sure we're doing okay. My tea's lukewarm now, but that's okay. We don't we don't care. We're gonna put that one on here. So, like I said, basically some of the some of the basics of this is to use a thicker um Thicker 
scrap paper because you're going to, you can paint on them and add mixed media paper to it like I have. Oh, that's really weird, Cindy. You know, I don't, ex um, yeah, I don't expect to get a bunch of uh, live viewers when I go live because I know that there's a lot of people out there that are doing it right now. And also because um, um, because I'm not great at lives. I mean, I'm just, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not the, I'm not good at it. I'm the first to admit that I suck at being live. I, mean, I do better when I don't have to read the channel or the thing, but I, I try to do okay, but I know that I'm not, like I see some people that have like the overheads and the this and they can show your face and you can see, I mean, all that, but I don't, I don't have all that. And, uh, yeah, I suck at it. Uh, <laughs> thanks, yeah. I try, I mean, because I really know that some of you guys love lives and you know what I like about lives is like, I get to talk to you guys directly. You know, I really do like that. But the, my biggest fear is that, that you know, technology is going to fail on me and, you know, and I can't keep up. Oh, thanks, Cindy. You're so kind. You guys are so kind. I really appreciate it. I am who I am. I, I don't, uh, yeah, I'm not the, I don't know. I'm not as polished, I should say. <laughs> I, I try. I try. And I thought, you know, it's really funny. I'm, let me just be honest. Let's just have a moment, shall we? Let's just have a moment between you guys because you're here and me. I thought for sure, I'm going to be, when I retired, that I was going to do so much better, right? I thought, wow, my content's going to get better. You know, I'm going to grow my channel more. I'm going to be more focused. I meant my art's going to improve. Uh, yeah, like, not, none of that happened. Like, scratch that check check and not check because my my content <laughs> i just i don't know what i was thinking girls that it none of that has happened and and you know what then i realized you know what it's okay because i don't have the time to spend to make all that happen you know yeah uh, oh you mean have some vino instead of my tea and yeah no not today i uh I went for a walk today and yesterday I was so lazy. I had a, I had like a movie day yesterday. It was kind of fun. And today I just thought, no, I had some, I went for a walk and then I, what else did I do? Watch the news, which I probably shouldn't do. My daughter always tells me, mom, quit watching it, you know, quit watching it. But I feel like it's my responsibility to watch it. Yeah. You guys are so kind. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate that, guys. I really do. I really do. You guys are just the best. I have so much fun. The thing is, is um, I love being here with you. You know, I love um, hanging out with you and, um, you know, just hanging out with you because I live alone and it's really nice. What movies did I see? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I have really weird taste in movies, but... One movie that I did see, and oh my God, I don't know about you guys, what's the date today? Today's the 22nd, so maybe it was just, I don't, H, not HBO, Showtime was doing a thing where you could watch a, some free movies, and so I got a couple of free movies. That's why I kind of, I think, I, I hold up and watched a couple movies. But the one movie I got was called Patterson, not, and it's not, it's, it's about this guy he lives in Patterson, New Jersey, and um, I'm going to Google the guy that did it. He, I love this kid, this actor who did it, Patterson movie. I have to tell you, he's a bus driver in the movie. Has anybody seen this movie? Okay, he's a bus driver in the movie, and this guy, I don't know if you can see who he is. Hold on. Um, show, I don't want the image. I want... Adam Driver is a hardworking bus driver in Patterson, New Jersey, who follows the same route every day. He observes the city and listens to fragments of conversations while picking up and dropping off his passengers. Patterson also writes heartfelt poems in a notebook 
walks his dog, and drinks one beer in a bar after his shift is over. Waiting for him at home is Laura, and that I don't know what her name is. I can't even begin to tell you what it is. His beloved wife who champions his gift for writing. And it was written in 2016, and Jim Jarmusch was the director, and he also wrote the screenplay. Oh, my gosh. It got a nomination for Cannes Best Actress Award and Best Actor Award and more. But anyway, so it's Adam Driver, you guys, who I love him. Oh, you're welcome, Scrap. I'll talk to you later. So if you want to see a good, kind of a quirky movie, it's called Patterson. That was really good. And then what else did I watch? I watched one called, let's see. Well, the other one I watched, it was called The Antiques or something, and I didn't like it. So I didn't even finish it. And I can't even remember what else I watched. But Patterson, I would probably watch that movie again because I love the poetry that was in it. I thought, it, And I thought it was just done very well, right? I'm going to grab another piece of this mixed media so we can do some more um, jelly plates. So if you haven't seen, if you like Adam Driver and if you like, you know, it, it's, 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 that was a good movie, really good movie. So I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to save that and just go ahead and do another one of these. See, I lose everything. I'm so not. I saw Ozark. Ooh, it does, Deb. I loved Ozark. That is a good, good movie. That was the other movie that I, I started to watch something else on HBO, but they only let me watch one of them. And I, that guy, what's his name that was in Ozark? The guy. He was in this thing that I start series I started watching, but after they let me see the first season, the first show of series one, then they wanted to charge me. And I was like, no, nah, sorry, gotta go. But yeah, so. Aw, thanks, Rain Girl. I know, sometimes I wonder if, you know, if it's, you know, I don't know. But it's worth it to me. I mean, you know, maybe the channel's not growing, but it's really hard to grow a channel right now because, um, well, there's a bazillion people out there. Everybody's doing it. And uh, since YouTube changed its algorithms, you know, they don't, I don't know, set you up for hits or something. I don't know. I really appreciate that you guys saying that though. I really do. I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I'm not on in this for, I mean, it's nice to try to get some of the Google ad money that I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm not going to be selling much on Etsy this year because I don't want to do flow journals anymore. This year is going to take some, but I'm not going to just go away either. Right. Right now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not, I I'm enjoying it too much. And you guys are, you keep me company too. You know, I'm not going to lie. You guys keep me company too. You know, so there's that. So I don't want to go anywhere. Not right now. Probably not for a while. Aw, Cindy, thank you. Really appreciate that, you guys. It, it It's hard putting yourself out there. I'm not going to lie. It's like, wow, uh, you know, but it's fun, too. It, it is. I'm going to cut it a little bit over so I can fix that with my my new chomper. I feel like I got a brand new chomper now. I feel like my life just got improved. Newly improved. Ooh, let's put this on here. Newly improved chomper, which I love it. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, this is so cool. I gotta cut some of that off. No, I'm not planning on leaving. Because someone said, "Don't go, Don," and I said, "No, I'm not planning on going anywhere, you guys. I'm, I'm in it for the long haul with you for sure. I'm here for sure." 
No, I'm not going anywhere. I feel like I should do another one with two because I haven't been doing that very much. Maybe I'll just do it with two small ones. Okay. No, I'm not going anywhere. I mean, if I, I, I changed my, my um, schedule now to be just every Wednesday, but I've been doing a lot more since the, um, since the, the, uh, since we're all in lockdown, I've been, well, I'm not in lockdown, but you know what I mean? I've been doing a lot more streaming because I just want to, you know, help everybody stay um, happy. So let's use some washi, maybe. Yeah, let's use some washi on this one. So I can show you how to do the washi part too. You have to use glue stick with your washi. No, I'm not going anywhere. You guys are stuck with me. Stuck, stuck, stuck. See, so the washi makes it kind of fun. <laughs> You're not going back into your whole rabbit. You saved my day. You saved my day. I'm so glad that you stopped in to say hello today. I am so happy you did. So happy you haven't. I just love it. I love that you guys pop in and say hi and you know, make my day. So I'm doing a live on Wednesday this week. I'm not sure what it will be. I'm kicking around some ideas. And what do you guys want to see me do live? You know what I was thinking about doing? Now, I'm not sure. Don't hold me to it. But I have a, um, what do you call it? A cuddle bug somebody gave me, and I've never used it. And I would really like to have some more, um, some more, um, what do you call it? Uh, textured paper. So, yeah, I was thinking maybe I could get out the old cuddle bug and you guys could teach me how to use that. Rabbit, do you know how to use a cuddle bug? Rain, do you know how to use a cuddle bug? If you do, show up on uh, Wednesday, and uh, you can help help me learn. I think my daughter might be getting ready to go somewhere. I have to ask her. Driving me nuts. Driving me crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Let me show you. Let me show you which one I have. You can. It's just um, Christine Gianni sent it to me. If I can find it now. It should be right here. I just changed things around. Ah, here it is. Ah, let me get it. And I don't have this one. And I have a few things. Maybe you guys want to do this now. <laughs> you guys can show me how to do it now. Actually, I probably shouldn't now because I already said. You want to try it, Deb? We can do this now. Let me finish this one page and then you guys can show me how to use this. Do you know how? Okay, hold on then. Okay, good. Let me, let's just chat and I'll finish this one page and then we'll do some of these. That would be great. Let's do it now. Oh yes, that'd be awesome. Thanks. <laughs> because I don't know how to do it. And uh, I've been wondering, you know, let's clean up this mess and we'll do a few. Okay. Yeah, check in on Wednesday. I might be, I, if we do it today, I might do some on Wednesday and then do something else with it. I'm not sure. You guys know me. That's the other thing about me. I can't like, guarantee that's probably another reason why i have such a hard time is i don't i can't guarantee okay i can't guarantee what i'm doing when i'm doing it you know the whole that whole thing okay wait hold on a second let me figure this out okay we don't need this quite this second so i don't cut myself my brand new sharp thing
that out of there. You don't need to look at that. Okay. No, no, no. I'm going to this up here. So I like those. There we go. Are you going somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and take this together. So do you guys like making these? Are, are some of you, I hope I haven't seen. Um, if, I don't know if you guys are the ones that are doing this along with me or not, but this is a fun project. So I probably shouldn't go off kilter because that's, that's what I named this, but we're going to do it. We're just going to do it. And then I got to remember, okay, there we go. Boy, this was a messed up page. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay, okay, rabbit. We're not going anywhere. We'll be here. And remember, you guys, if you leave a line on here for your signatures, don't worry about it because you're going to be painting over. That's the whole Nine and three. Nine, nine and three. Nine and th nine and three quarters. What am I doing? There we go. Okay. There we go. A layer we go. Did I say seven and three quarters? Yes. Close enough. So see, there's another nice little page that'll make it into our signature stack. So that's how you do those. What do you mean after page? I'm just going to, today I was just doing signatures. I'm not doing any sewing today. So today I was just making a few signatures to show you guys how to do some signatures. So, yes. And on that note, would you guys mind terribly if I end this stream and then come back on and rename it Cuddlebug? Because I don't want it to get confused because I did, I am calling this one um, just signatures for my uh, thing. So I'd like to, to start a new uh, stream so I can end this one. It, it's at 1.30. And then we'll start a new stream and we'll do we'll play with the kettle bug in a new stream. And I'll be like five minutes. Would that be okay with you guys? Do Would you mind? Yeah, but that's okay. Everybody can kind of take five seconds, take, take a break for five minutes. And we'll come back on and I'll start a new stream. And we'll wait till R Rabbit gets back and let her know so she's not confused. Like, where'd they go? <laughs> I don't want to confuse Confuser, because that way, then I don't have to worry about it. So, if anybody has, a, I think it would be great because again, this is just a stream for these signatures, and I don't want to mess people up by going at the end of it doing something else. So, so rabbit, when you get back, let me know you're back. So we'll straighten up this little mess for a second. So yeah, so we'll all learn how to do the cuddle bug together. I kind of have an idea, but I'm not sure. So. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to end this stream in a minute, though, but I'm going to wait for Rabbit to get back because I don't want to confuse anybody. Okay, Rabbit, what we're going to do is I'm going to end this stream really quick and come back on in a couple of minutes. I'm going to clean it up a little bit because I don't want to confuse it because I've already named this stream. It was just supposed to be for how to make these signatures. And so I want to do a start another stream saying playing with the cuddle butt. You know what I mean? So that can be two separate streams so that it's not confusing to the people that are actually doing the, um, the uh, what do you call it? The book with me. Does, is that okay? So if that's okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream and come right back on. Thumbs up, you guys, if that's okay.
I'll be right back. I promise. I'm not, I'm not going to even, I mean, I might go to the restroom real quick. <laughs> so, okay, good. I'll end this stream. And thanks you guys for joining me and I'll be back on in about five minutes, if that, and um, we'll do some work on the kettle bug. Okay. Thanks guys. I'll be right back. Talk to you in a bit. See you soon. Bye guys. Okay. Lauren.